Hi, I'm Bill Zolk. I'm going to walk you through logging into Google Drive. So just from Google, I can come over and click sign in. But actually what I like doing is I come over here and I just type in drive.google.com. If you visit it more than once and you're in Chrome, then it'll autofill. You can just hit the letter D and it, it autofills for you, which is kind of awesome. When you log in, go to Google Drive. It goes, hi, welcome to Google Drive. If you've never been, just click go. If you have a Google account, you can just type in Bill Selleck. Actually, unless you're Bill Selleck, you'll probably want to type in your own username. But if you are Google Apps for Education, you could type in bselleck, but then you have to type in your entire email address and then type in your password. Click sign in. If it's your computer, you can definitely stay signed in. And once you get there, it will look something like this. If you've never really used it, this will be blank. If you have used it, then you have a bunch of stuff here. So that'll be my drive. If someone clicked, um, if someone shared a document with you, it does not show up over in my drive. It shows up in shared with me. And as you start using this, it's going to be pretty easy to navigate because you're not going to have a lot of stuff. But if I scroll, you see, I just have a lot of stuff. So I have two ways that I navigate easily. The first is with recent, where my most you know, cleverly titled recent posts show up here. The other one is if there's something I'm working on, I will give it a star. So when I was at ISTE last week, I clicked star there, and then I could just go to starred, and it shows up immediately right there. So there's a couple easy ways to navigate around once you get logged in to Google.